Hey everyone, it's Justin again. In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to calculate the surface area of spheres. When we finish, you should be able to help Mia figure out how much paint is needed to cover this sphere with a radius of 2.8 feet. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to find the surface area of spheres. First, we'll discuss the formula for the surface area of spheres, and then we'll complete one example problem. Have you ever tried to wrap a round gift for someone? Maybe something like a basketball or a snow globe? Anytime I've tried, it has seemed just about impossible. No matter how much I try to smooth out the paper, it always comes out folded and crinkled. For the longest time, I thought that maybe I was just bad at wrapping gifts, but it turns out that it really is impossible to smoothly wrap a sphere with a sheet of paper. Because spheres don't have any flat surfaces, it is not possible to make a two-dimensional net to represent their surface area, like we have done with our other shapes. So what does that mean for us? How can we find the surface area of a sphere if we can't make a net for it? Well, there is a formula for the surface area of spheres, but it actually comes from calculus. You still have a few more math classes ahead of you before you reach calculus, but we can still totally use that formula now. To get the surface area of spheres, we can use the formula s equals 4 pi r squared. The only variable in this formula is r, which represents the radius of the sphere, or the distance from the center to the surface. Now that we have a formula, let's try it out. Our example problem says to find the surface area of a sphere with a diameter of 14 millimeters, round to the nearest tenth. That means we're going to need our formula for the surface area of spheres, 4 pi r squared. What does r represent in this formula? Yep, you got it. It's the radius of the sphere. But we weren't given the radius in this problem. We were given the diameter. What can we do with this? Well, if we look at a sphere, the diameter goes all the way across a circle or the sphere itself. And the radius only goes to the center. So the radius is half the length of the diameter. What does that mean the radius is for this problem? Yep, if the diameter is 14 millimeters, then half of that makes 7 millimeters for the radius. Now that we have the radius, pause the video here and finish this problem off on your own. I can plug 7 in for r, and since that's the only variable in this formula, I could take this whole expression and put it into my calculator. Your calculator should have given you back this decimal approximation. Lastly, we have to round that to the nearest tenth to get 615.8. And what will our units be for this answer? Since this is surface area, the units will be millimeters squared. And that's our final answer. To find the surface area of a sphere, you can use the formula surface area equals 4 pi r squared, where r represents the radius of the sphere. And the radius is the only value that you need to be able to find the surface area of a sphere. It looks like Mia's been paying attention too. What do you think? Is this answer of 100 square feet correct for the surface area of this sphere? Double check it on your own. Next, you'll be putting this formula to good use in your practice game. Good luck on that, and I'll see you next time! 